I want to share with you my five top tips for making better videos because after all that's what Aussie Mark does let's see what I'm talking about we'll go to number five my number five is about using motion when you're filming in other words being able to move yourself around so that you actually produce something that's more riveting for people to watch because after all we're talking about a video and video shouldn't just be a talking head unless you've got lots of um, b-roll lots of things being added overlays over the top lots of editing features you should be moving moving yourself around so that you've got different kinds of shots just as I'm doing here it's pretty easy to make a moving shot not everybody's got a particularly great stabilization feature on their camera and I understand that but you can also do moving shots like this one watch I'm going to be standing perfectly still but I'm going to be moving the shot for you in post it doesn't take much that's number five my number four is about sound about audio now we all know that great audio is something that um, should be on everybody's video but I want to break it down into three sections I want to talk firstly about people who film outdoors and filming outdoors is full of risks because of primarily the wind so if you've got problems with the wind no I'm not talking about that kind of wind <laughs> then perhaps you need to move to a better location nobody wants to hear wind in the footage when you're talking to camera so make sure you choose a place that's not like this but it's more like this where it's a sheltered position and the wind is not getting into the microphone so if you haven't got an external mic and you're just using the mic that's built into the camera make sure you're sheltered secondly when talking about audio I wanted to talk to you about what you are adding to your audio if you can add sound effects it makes the whole video come alive by sound effects I mean getting close up of the sound that you are recording and then um, overlaying that or adding that to the track so for example if you've got a shot of a, of a car driving down the street then get some sound of it really close up so that you can add that and make it sound more dynamic or something as simple as um, putting on makeup if you wanted to uh, show yourself reaching into your uh, makeup bag for example then get some microphone right up close while you're doing that and add that sound over the top or underneath depending on how you want to look at it but add sound effects will definitely help you improve your video and of course the number one thing that people like to know about in audio is music how do we get music and where do we find music I put a video up a while back about some great free places to get music and I'll put the video link up here on the page for you but there are some fantastic opportunities to get free music and I strongly recommend that you add music because it really creates an atmosphere picking the right music however is very very important not having um, for example some grandiose um, cinematic type of music to something that's soft and lilting and, and um, gentle you don't want a baby crawling by with a da 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 band type music um, and conversely obviously if you've got drone footage for example and you've got something that's beautiful vistas on grand mountains or sweeping rivers and waterfalls you want something dynamic to lift it up so pick the music correctly and there are so many places you can find free music from the YouTube library to, um, to techno acts that I use to um, Ben Sounds is another one and there's a lot more on that video um, there's the link again I'll put it up on the screen and of course if you're smart and you want to use music that you don't hear very often then you might go to epidemic sound which is a paid place but it really has some fantastic music and well worth it for people who want to try and grow their videos and make better better videos my number three number three advice for you to make better videos in 2018 is to use a wide variety of shots and not just stick to one particular um, scene one particular background use close-ups mid shots and long-range shots I'm going to give you an example of this something as simple as making breakfast can become a whole lot more interesting than just a camera on a tripod filming you making breakfast use different angles use long shots use nice close-up shots let's check this out
see what I mean? Who would have thought that breakfast could be so interesting? So that's my tip. Make sure that you use lots and lots of different types of shots and string them all together in your editing software. We're almost at number one. My number two piece of advice for making better videos in 2018 is for you to plan your video before you start shooting. When I'm talking about planning, I'm talking about doing some research. Research the topic that you're going to be talking about so that A, you know what you're talking about, but more important than that is researching the keywords. Research what you think a good title would be for the video before you start filming. Put that title then into YouTube and do a search and see what kind of competition you have for that exact title. If it's something that's got dozens or even hundreds of videos with pretty much the same title, you might want to try and think about changing that. And of course, using keywords is the keywords tool that I mentioned in my keyword um, video. I'll put that link up here on the screen as well. Uh, that will allow you to see other keywords that you could use to probably focus in on. Maybe change your title a little bit when you'll see the keywords to something that's a little bit more focused, a little bit more narrowed down so that you're going to find an audience for your videos that are um, more specific and people who are looking for a specific thing will certainly jump on yours when there's not much other competition around. And my number one tip, it's got to be lighting guys. Make sure that your lighting is right. As you can see, I'm always either facing the sun or facing a window or I've got lights turned on so that you can clearly see. Because after all, isn't that what a video is about? It's being able to see well and see exactly what it is that you're talking about, but also to be able to hear the audio. So video and audio, visual and audio if you like, the two most important things. But lighting to me is number one. My number one is get that lighting right. I've seen people filming videos like this talking to camera, where all they had to do is actually make sure that the window is pointing right at them. Just like that. It's so simple to improve the quality of your lighting. Well, I hope you get some serious thoughts to the five tips that I've given to you today and will give your viewers more chances to think that you're a professional video maker, that you are really going for quality as well as producing regular videos. Well, thanks very much for listening to my five tips and I hope they make better videos for you. I'm Aussie Mark and for those of you who haven't already subscribed, can I suggest you consider hitting that subscribe button and the bell notification so that you know when I put up more videos that are going to help you make better videos for your video channel. Thanks very much for watching. You have a lovely day. I'm really pleased to, to have um, had you here and I hope that I can read some of your comments and that I'll be able to um, respond to them. Don't forget to leave me a comment, will you? Take care now. Bye-bye.